Welcome back to Beauty Bee. I'm Iris. Uh, I don't actually have the kind of money that a Natasha Denona palette would require, but oh my goodness, I feel like this uh, glam palette, I wanted to call it the mini glam palette, that's not it, that's the other one, is gorgeous and I want it. So we're going to do a dupe tutorial instead, which is a series I do on my channel where I look at palettes that I want and then I do the look that I want to do with that palette with items that I already own because we can't be spending $129 every month on eyeshadow. I'm a grad student. <laughs> that, would, that would hurt. Okay. So I've been, I just put on the NYX Glitter Glue because there's going to be quite a bit of sparkle in this tutorial, and I think I'm actually just going to start by laying out a little bit of a crease, and for that I'm going to be using uh, a shade that's very close to the crease shade in the Natasha Denona palette, and I'm just going to be taking it on this fluffy brush. Just laying down a soft crease. Okay, so that looks like almost nothing on my eye, but that's kind of what I was aiming for. Now, this is a very cool toned palette. We see actually two almost identical looking sparkly grays, some silvers. It goes a little bit into a gold and a rose gold but it's it's not that extreme. So I decided I was going to keep to more of a cool toned gray, maybe with a, just a hint of rose gold. So let's do it. I think I'm going to start with my all over lid shade, Oops. which is going to be this gold. Hopefully I put up that picture earlier that shows exactly the colors that would give the look that I end up creating. If not, it'll be right here. The stars are the colors that I have used. I'm just going to put that pretty much all over my lid. I know she calls this the brow bone shade, but um, there is absolutely no way I would ever put that color on my brow bone. I am too fair for that. It would look like a stripe. Okay, so we've laid that down. Now I want to more or less follow her instructions. I'm gonna use the outer eyelid shade. And for that, I'm going to use Let's not use a shade with a glare. This pretty dark gray has quite a bit of shine to it and is not quite as cool toned as it looks in the pan. I mean, it's still cool toned. It's a gray, but I feel like it almost pulls blue. It doesn't look like that on the eye. I'm just going to take it on my pinky and deepen up that outer corner. I feel like Mini Glam was the was the perfect name for this because this does feel just so glam to pair rose gold with dark gray. You can start to see a little bit of that blue shining through, but it's pretty subtle still. You just got a little bit more. Okay. So that's good. Now on to the inner corner. 
And again, we're gonna go into the inner corner shade, which is this ColourPop Super Shock. Don't know why I was struggling so much with those words in Ladybird. I'm just gonna take that on a little detail brush and put it on my inner corner. Can you just see how almost wet that looks? I'm gonna pat it in just a little bit because I've got a little chunk. Well, that spread really well. Oh well. Still cute. Okay, that's where we're at now. I think that's pretty much the lid. I am gonna do just some general blending once I have the rest of my eye makeup on. But for right now, let's get the lower lash line done. I'm going to go into a smudger brush if I can find it. There it is, this little brush on a pretty medium dark brown this color or smoke you know one of the two and i'm just going to indeed smoke that out on the lower lash line and make a funny face as i do it of course dip back in So there is the eyeshadow more or less done. I am going to go into that brush that I used for the crease and I'm not even gonna add any more product. I'm just gonna run it over that entire area to blend things out. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. I'm going to clean that up just a little bit. And I still do have a little bit more of that color pop shade that I want. So I'm just patting that in to make sure it's not looking too chunky. And I think that is the eyeshadow. So next step, some quick mascara on my brows, you know, the usual. This eyeshadow makes me wish that I did false lashes because I feel like that would be really pretty with this, but no. <laughs> Beauty may be pain, but it's not worth that annoyance. Okay. We're calling that good enough. Brow pencil, just chuck some of that in really fast. I had been using that brow powder, or well, that eyeshadow was brow powder, but um, it takes a long time or, you know, longer than like 20 seconds. So I don't have enough patience for that today. All right, let's do some blush now. I think that I'm actually going to use this transition shade as a blush. 
angled blush brush. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, I want, I kind of want to add highlighter, but I know that's a bad idea because it's going to be like 90 degrees or something today and it's humid. So let's be only like moderate grease ball by the end of the day and just stick to some lipstick and call it a day. Uh, I'm actually going to put on this chapstick first because I want this to be a little bit more sheer. And then the, this matte pink lipstick. I'll have the exact products that I use listed down below as usual. But obviously, it would be pretty hypocritical of me to say that you need exactly the products that I'm using in order to make this look uh, because that's sort of the point of this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like how this makeup turned out. I'm actually quite fond of it. I think it's really lovely and I can see myself definitely pulling out this combination of colors again. This video has not made me want the glam palette any less. I'm not going to buy it because that's just not feasible or reasonable for me personally. But if you do end up purchasing this palette, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. It's very pretty and I admit that I don't think the versatility is really there for what I personally would want out of a very expensive palette, but I suspect that some of these shades might be a little bit more different in person than they look, especially on this image that I'm looking at. So. Let me know how it works out for you. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will consider liking and subscribing if you did. Hope to see you next time. Bye.